Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from Pocketnow.com. The HTC Sensation is finally out, and with it we've got a new version of the Sense interface from HTC. It's pretty darn cool, and in this video we're going to talk all about it. Let's get to it. Okay, so Sense 3.0 starts here on the lock screen. And right now I've got the weather lock screen selected. So you get the weather in big beautiful letters here. It's even animated a little bit if you watch it. The clouds are moving just slightly. So what we can do from here is we can take this metal ring, which is kind of like a brushed metal looking ring, very polished, very nice, and we can just put it in the center of the screen. We get this cool animation and then if you listen, we get a sound. The sound is a sound effect for the weather animation. You can fortunately turn this off because it's super annoying. Now another thing you can do from the lock screen, which is a great feature, wish every Android phone had this, is the ability to quickly launch an application. You would get a choice of four. It would be nice if you could choose eight or 12 or whatever. But let's say you really want to take a picture and you don't want to fumble with your, your application tray. Boom, you've launched your, your, your camera application and you don't miss the moment. And there are four or five different lock screens to choose from. So if we bring that circle back in and we go into the personalize menu and lock screen, you can see all of the different available lock screens. And hopefully there will be more. I'd love to see one that's fully customizable because right now you can only change the shortcuts. So here we have the photo album. This is kind of a novelty. It's very beautiful and 3D looking. Uh, we can swipe to the right. This is the friend stream, which is cool. It shows you in sort of a 3D environment updates to social networks. This is the weather one, which we just had on. Stocks, pretty useful if you're following some stock quotes. And the last one here is clock kind of just a static home screen. Uh, this one I want to show you, it's a really cool photo album. If you click on settings, you can select the shortcuts that you want. So let's say you want to change call history to say something else. Let's say you want to change it to clock, maybe so you can adjust your alarms. You click done and then we can click apply. And if we go back to the lock screen, we'll see that the shortcut has been changed and now it's loading the photo stream. So pretty cool here, it's bringing up a photo slideshow of photos I've taken, just sort of bouncing in and out. But who sits there and stares at their lock screen? I don't know, but it's kind of cool to have, I guess, right? So let's bring the circle back into the center of the screen. And here we are back on the home screen. Now, HTC Sense home screens haven't changed that much, but finally they're different. So we get this cool little effect when you turn from home screen to home screen. Third-party launchers like Launcher Pro, ADW Launcher, have had these effects for a while. In fact, they let you change them. Since 3.0, you, you still can't change them. HTC also likes to show off the fact that if you spin this thing real quick, it becomes like a 3D carousel. Well, whoop de doo is what we say because it's not really functional. It's a cool party trick, but who cares that your home screens can become kind of like 3D when you spin them really fast. Anyhow, let's get back to the main home screen here. We've got the HTC weather clock along with some shortcuts. Got, the, uh, got a battery widget here, it's just a third party quick battery that we like to use. Scrolling to the left, we get the weather. They've done a really, really good job with weather. HTC really pioneered the animated 3D looking weather with early, early devices that ran Windows Mobile. So what we can do here is flick through our weather, full screen animations, sound effects, super immersive. And if you tap on the weather, you go into an even more immersive environment. Again, with these sound effects, which you can remove. And we can flick through the various different home screens. We can click on this button to be able to jump into the hourly or five day forecast. Really beautiful. This is taking great advantage of the QHD display. We're gonna talk more about how the QHD display makes a difference in a minute. Now something else you can do here is you can go to demo. If you wanna show your friends how cool this device is, show them this. So it shows you the animation for every different weather situation. Looks like the HTC Thunderbolt startup, doesn't it? Probably is related to that. So again, we get sound effects with all of these. Again, this is weather to the next level, probably a little more than most people need, but it's, uh, it's great to have. It's really taking advantage of the dual core processor on the HTC Sensation, just gorgeous, gorgeous animations. And we're almost through them all, partly sunny. Rain is always a good one on HTC. Looks like raindrops are on your screen. Snow, and finally, windy. So that was a look at the weather. Pretty cool stuff what HTC has done. This looks kind of like the Windows Phone 7 HTC weather app with this sort of uh, shiny tops. 
Anyhow, so let's move along. We've just got some shortcuts over there. Here's My Shelf, which is the HTC e-reader application. So we can click on any of these and dive into uh, the built-in book app. And text looks really good on this. So we can flick to the next page. Really cool animation. And if we look really close on the screen to get a sense for how clear the text is, and hopefully the camera will focus, Text is very, very, very sharp. It's not as sharp as you would get on the iPhone 4 because you get PPI, which means pixel density is about 326 per inch. So if you take a little inch, you count up all the pixels, you get 326. On the sensation with the QHD display, 4.3 inches, we are getting a PPI of about 250. Now the, the predecessor to this, the Desire HD with a WVGA screen, had a pixel density of about 217. So you're really getting an improvement there in terms of the pixel density, which really makes text sharp and crisp. But what's awesome, which it, what's very impressive, is what HTC has done with the extra pixels in some of the built-in applications, like email, web, and so forth. We're going to go through that in just a minute. want to talk a little bit more about these home screens and adding widgets. So let's go into widgets. Of course, with each passing generation of devices, HTC adds more and more widgets. So if we go into Browse All HTC Widgets, we'll see that there are 81. On previous devices, like the Desire HD, you were in the 70s. So what they've really done is added refinements to some of the more popular widgets. You might see some new ones as I flick through. I'm not going to flick through all 81, but just to give you a sense of what HTC, HTC has done. And these widgets look better than ever with the QHD display. So we've got things for Twitter. We've got music widgets. Unfortunately, you still cannot resize widgets in HTC Sense. Uh, you can do that in Launcher Pro. You can do that with a wide variety of other third-party replacements. But in terms of customizability, HTC still really mix misses the mark. This is actually a new one here, Photo Grid. Really cool looking, kind of like a mosaic. So we've got news. Let's see if there's any other new ones. This is a new uh, social clock which actually comes from the HTC Facebook phones, like the Cha-Cha and the Salsa. Right within your clock, you can see Facebook updates, kind of fun. And we've got a bunch of clocks. You've seen the clocks for many generations of devices. Calculators, nothing new there. This is new, stocks. Wow, full screen stocks widget. Now, some people really like widgets and some people don't. The thing with widgets is that they take up RAM, they use CPU cycles in the background when you're doing other things. Uh, so some people like to keep it simple with Launcher Pro, with ADW Launcher, and some people like to make it really visually uh, intense uh, with widgets from HTC. So it's really up to you how you want to do that. Now, the notification tray has been redone. Uh, here for the HTC sensation. Because we get more pixels, HTC has more space to work with. They can fit more stuff in here. So we've got this new bar with the clear button, a little bit different than before. We've got shortcuts right here, although of course in Android you tap and hold on the home button to get to your recent applications, like so of course. And now we've got a new tab down here. Finally, HTC is bringing forth settings. Samsung has been doing this for a long time now. From here, we can quickly toggle on and off GPS, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. We can also go into HTC's new, beautifully designed task manager. So here we can see how much RAM we have free. We can selectively kill applications right from the screen. Very beautiful display here in the new notification shade on the HTC Sensation. So now let's dive into some built-in apps on the HTC Sensation. Email on this phone is probably the best email experience of any Android phone we've ever tested. Okay, and let's jump into the mail application. HTC is brilliant when it comes to designing this email app. Up here at the top, we have the drop-down arrow where we can switch between mail applications. To the right of that, we have a new message button. And then we've got these emails with four line previews, but you can change it to be no lines or up to, I think, five. So if we go into more and settings and general settings, so versatile here, we can go to portrait uh, body preview. So we can do three lines like we have now, one line or none. This is really awesome. So if you're the kind of person that likes to just glance at their box, inbox to see previews, you can turn this up to five lines and really instantly, without having to go into a message, read the top few lines. Or if you like to see just a simple index, maybe with one line, you can do that. If you want to make the font size really small and fit a lot of text on the screen, if you have good eyes, uh, you can change it to smallest and on the sensation, you can really get away with that uh, because the pixel density is nice. And so it just looks really, really good 
on the screen. So here we have our inbox. We've got check boxes already exposed. The Samsung Galaxy S2, for example, doesn't have the check boxes ex exposed, making it difficult to do email arbitrage. So what we can do here is we can check off multiple messages. Boom, within a second, mark red, delete, or move to. And fortunately, uh, unlike stock Android, when you check something and you do an action on it, it becomes unchecked. Uh, if you get a Nexus S and you try to do this, it stays checked no matter what you do with it, which is very frustrating. So we can go to delete. From here, we can obviously click on a message, and now we get these buttons along the bottom, a little bit different than what we got with the previous uh, HTC Mail app. So you gotta kind of experiment with these to figure out what they are. This is reply, this is reply all, forward, move to folder, and trash. So kind of a little bit of a, of a learning curve there. Let's also go back into the settings and see all of the other settings that we can use. Change font size, use a signature. Uh, we can change the, ca the attachment cache, ask before deleting, body portrait preview. So really a killer, fast, customizable mail app here on the HTC Sensation. Five stars for the mail experience, taking advantage of the full QHD resolution. And the calendar has also been revamped to be very, very nice. And so has the app tray, which we'll go over in a sec. Just want to jump into the calendar real quick. So here's the calendar. And so now it just looks a lot better than it did before. So we've got these buttons along the bottom, and we can toggle between um, the, uh, the, the day view. We could go to the week view. Just looks really slick on the screen. And then we have, of course, this, um, this agenda view, which most people would probably use. And finally, invitation screen. And all of this works gloriously. Is that a word? Gloriously in landscape, too. So really beautiful calendar display. Now, you just got a little preview of the new application tray on the HTC Sensation. So we've got three sliders along the bottom. Finally, HTC has done something with sliders. Uh, they're, they're sort of very intelligent interface paradigm in the application tray. And now when you flick through the applications, they kind of go notch by notch instead of all at one time sort of freely scrolling. And what we can do here is change how they're sorted. So we can change the sorting order from date and oldest, which you could do in previous HTC phones. But now if we slide to the right, we have frequent apps, which is something that people will probably keep this on at all times. And over to the right, we have downloaded apps. So you can see all of your third-party apps in one screen. It's really fantastic. And if you land on one of them and you close it and go back in, it brings you back to that same area. So this is probably where most people want to land on their frequently used applications. Because a lot of these things people don't use in here, especially the built-in carrier apps that you cannot remove. OK, so let's talk about web browsing experience. I know this video is starting to run a little bit long, but there's just so much to talk about in the HTC Sensation. Uh, so here we're loading Google. And of course, we've got this cool uh, tab view where we can open up a new tab. Let's jump into pocketnow.com. We're going to do comparisons, a lot of comparisons with this device. So you can see how fast it is with the dual core processor. Let's load the desktop view. We're over Wi-Fi right now. See how long this takes? Sensation has fantastic web browsing performance. As a little bit of a preview, it's not as fast as the Galaxy S2, but it is much faster than the Desire HD, than the Nexus S, you name it, the Sensation pretty much beats it. And so here we have Pocket Now, and you can see the address bar is very skinny uh, because of the QHD resolution, and it disappears when you start scrolling, of course. So when we scroll down the page, we get no checkerboards, we can do a little pinch to zoom action. Extremely smooth, very fluid. The colors on the screen are fantastic. We're running a super LCD panel. It's not Super AMOLED Plus, but it is darn good. So let's jump into Engadget here. Because that's a really long web page, especially when we load the desktop version. So let's do the checkerboard test. Let's load the desktop version. And while it's loading, we're going to try to flick down the page to see if we get checkerboards. No checkerboards. Fantastic performance on the, the sensation. And we can flick back and forth. This is still a little bit choppy. This was always choppy in previous HTC devices. Still choppy now, uh, but not too bad. We can go into there and flick down. We can double tap on a column. It will resize it beautifully. Text is super sharp, super clear. Awesome marks for web browsing. And of course, we've got a bunch of settings. Another thing that's great that HTC has always done is adjust the uh, the 
the size of text within the whole operating system. So text is really small here, allowing you to see all of the menu options without having to scroll, which is always nice. So standard options in terms of web browsing, it's always nice to leave plugins set to uh, ask, which is somewhere around here, or on demand, so that you don't have the flash content loading slowing down your pages, even though this does have a dual core processor, flash does still slow down devices. Okay, real quick, let's dive into the included applications to see if there's anything interesting here. Um, 360 Shop, 360 Updates, that's for a Vodafone. This is actually a Vodafone device. Uh, we've got Dice, which is an HTC thing. We have HTC Hub, which is great, which allows you to extend the use of your phone to download new um, scenes. This does still have scenes, by the way. Uh, what I like the most here is the skins. So you can download a skin to change the entire look and feel of your phone. These are two new ones, Purple Passion and Painting the World. Uh, this one's kind of cool, Music Lover. So you download that, and in the notification shade, you'll see that it's downloading. You can tap on that and then apply it somehow. Oh. That's a new one, Burgundy. OK, these are the built-in ones that we just came to. I'm actually going to go to Burgundy. That looks pretty cool. So click Apply. And so what this is going to do is revamp all of the screens. And if you go back to the, to the HTC Home screen, it's going to have to refresh. Things are going to be Burgundy. So that's always a fun little thing to, to, to mess around with. And there you go. There's the Burgundy. Woohoo. OK, so let's jump into settings real quick and see if there's anything useful there. Uh, if we go to display, we can change the notification flash. So this has an LED notification, which you can turn on for email, MMS, missed calls, that kind of thing. Auto rotate screen is obviously always turned on there. Um, not much other things have been added here. If we go to SD card and storage, uh, total space available is, of course, 7.38 gigabytes available, about five. Uh, the eight gigabyte card out of the box will probably give you about six gigabytes of space, plus an available of one gigabyte, and you're at about seven gigabytes of space out of the box. Of course, you can add a 32 gig micro SD card. If we go to About Phone, we can see uh, that we're software. Here to software, we are running on Android 2.3.3, Sense version 3.0. Uh, so this is running the latest version of Sense, the latest version of Android.